up guys, it's Solomon. Um, back with the S6 again today. We're gonna, the last time we drove it, you guys saw us drive it. It was, it was awesome. It was ripping. We heard it loud, loud and clear with the straight pipe. But I'm waiting for an alternator. We can't really drive it anymore until I get an alternator in it because the, like yeah, you can drive it off the battery power, but the second that battery power starts to get low, you start having issues with the solenoids in the transmission, and I'm just not trying to, I'm not sure, it's, the transmission is shifting good. The only problem with the transmission right now is it is kind of clunking when you're engaging it into drive, you're engaging it into reverse from park or neutral. So, I do have a, a thread for this car on the Audi Zone, Audi Zone, I don't know how to say it, but, I have a thread started on there and one of the users on there, I'm going to pop it up on the screen now because this dude was crazy helpful to me. He said that there's a, on the secondary valve body, sometimes you can have a crack in it and that will reduce pressure when you're shifting to drive, shifting to reverse. So while I'm waiting on the alternator, I'm waiting on new transmission fluid. So I, today I think I'm just going to pull the pan off, I'm going to dump all the fluid out because I'm getting new OEM fluid anyway, I was going to do this anyway. I'm going to pull the pan off, inspect inside there, see if I can find anything that's cracked, find anything that's broken, and I figured it'd be kind of cool to make a video on this because you could see in the lower part of the tip tonic transmission what actually is going on in there. So um, I'm going to crawl under the car, hopefully not strip any bolts out in the process of pulling that pan off, and we can take a look at what's inside. So. Let's crawl under the S6. Alright guys, so we are under the car. This is the transmission pan. It is basically, basically goes equivalent with where the wheel is because it's towards, basically covers the whole transmission. Um, to get, to drop the pan first, I'm going to pull this. I think it's a 17 millimeter, 17 millimeter hex. And then that'll drain out, and then there's all these little Torx um, screws to get out. Now, when I was taking the pan off my S4, which is also an automatic transmission, probably the exact same automatic transmission, a lot of these gave me trouble with stripping out, and I was down here for a long, long time. And I'm just, I'm starting to look, and we definitely have some that could possibly be those types of problem problem areas there's one over here man look at that that is horrible <laughs> like i had to i used a real small torx to use it as almost like a pick to try and pick all that stuff out but i'm gonna be in here with a hammer i'm gonna be pounding the bit in there make sure it's nice and seated um so this video could take maybe a half hour to make. It could be a couple day thing. So we're gonna see if we can get some of these out. All right, let's get this plug out of here. Yep, there it is. These things hold so much fluid. I don't even know that this is gonna be a big enough container for it, but we'll see. All right, guys, so we got the pan dropped. As you can see, this is not a clean job, no matter what you do. Even draining the pan beforehand, there's still so much in there because the pan itself, the drain plug is a lot higher, so you can fill it easier. But yeah, so it's dropped. I'm gonna let it drip here for a little bit before we get up in there and start messing around just because this stuff stinks and it's everywhere. All right guys, so got the pan out. Of course, like I said, huge mess. Um, dumped out all the fluid. And this is what I found in the bottom of the pan. Now, I don't know what this is from. I'm hoping, I mean, I'm hoping this is just something that found its way in there when I was filling the transmission fluid up, but obviously not. I'm hoping it's a piece of, like I said, that upper valve body gets a crack in it, and that's where you get that clunking when you're switching from drive to reverse to neutral to drive to reverse to neutral, but that is definitely a pretty solid piece of metal from somewhere, so 
that's what that's what this video is all about i'm gonna try and we're gonna get it back up in there get this mess cleaned up get a fresh piece of cardboard down and start tearing some stuff apart up there see what we got but uh, definitely not what you want to see when you're dropping your transmission pan all right guys so we got the we pulled the filter down uh pans out of the way obviously we got the filter down out of there and i was pretty quickly able to identify up in the top corner here of the lower valve body nice big chunk taken out of there and a, like a crack going along the bottom side of that i don't even know what would have caused something like that but for that just being on the lower valve body i'm pretty sure the it's the upper valve body when it gets a crack in it that's when you get that that hard clunking so i don't know if that has anything to do with anything i don't even know how that would have even happened but we've already got some carnage just on the first layer of this intricate uh, zf lower valve body so we're gonna keep going you can see literally how many screws there are in this thing this is absolutely insane but we're gonna get it out of there so we got the valve body completely removed from the transmission as you can see crazy 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 craziness i'm gonna have to clean these up and just really really go over because so far the only the only damage i see to the valve body so far is this this little area right here which that could that could easily be enough to be causing some troubles but i think i don't know we're, we're gonna have to do some research and really see what parts of this we're gonna need to replace what parts of like any it, in the transmission I'll, I'll give you a shot of inside the transmission with this all completely removed but it's definitely going to be some detective work to be done here really i'm going to get these all cleaned up and just really scan this cast to make sure we don't have any fractures um because that is something that i have learned is common with these transmissions so um hopefully we can report back with some good news soon and like i said this is not in any way shape or form a clean job never ever ever working on these transmissions has this ever been clean every every bolt you pull out more fluid starts dribbling i've went through a few sheets of cardboard but whatever that's what the inside of the transmission looks like after you've removed all that valve body work everything looks so astonishingly clean in there it's hard to believe that this transmission is as old as it is looks brand new in there but all right that's it for this one today guys